G'day, Bruce. Today I want to talk about my orderless art studio. Uh, I paint in oils and I've walked into many studios where the order and the solvents will just knock you on your ass. Uh, something I've been avoiding for the last 15 years. Uh, primarily, uh, I, in, my last, in one of my last videos, I talked about uh, cleaning your brushes with baby oil and then rinsing them over again with uh, just hand soap or dishwashing soap. So today I'll talk about my studio and um, this is basically what I use. Uh, walnut oil is substituted uh, for linseed oil. Works really well. Uh, before, when I started using it years and years ago, there was only a couple places we can get it. Now you can get it uh, almost anywhere, and I got this pretty cheaply. And you can get smaller bottles. And it replaces linseed oil, which isn't really toxic, but uh, it's not really good for you. And uh, I like walnut oil because it dries a lot slower, uh, and it keeps the painting uh, more workable for a longer period of time. One thing that I do use, but I don't have on hand right now, is lavender oil, and it replaces uh, mineral spirits. I still use a little bit of mineral spirits, mostly in summertime. Uh, I'm very used to it, so I wear gloves when I'm using uh, when I'm uh, using mineral spirits, uh, disposable gloves, which I do happen to have here. So. You know, you don't want to get mineral spirits on your skin, and you do want to use it in a well-ventilated area. It does affect your nervous system. So again, I usually use uh, lavender oil, and that works pretty well. You don't really have to worry about paints if you get them on your fingers. You don't put your fingers in your hands. Uh, there's a few toxic ones. Uh, the cadmiums, of course, or it's car cadmium is a carcinogen. You want to stay away from those on your hands. But uh, putting them on your painting, it's pretty safe. You gotta have a lot of cadmium in your system, really, to cause any trouble. 